my name is Rebecca Trimble and I'm going to show you a little demo for a class I am teaching at Hoot. This is Parish Church. It is being taught Thursday morning, um, 8 to 12. It is painted on a nice 11 by 14 stretch canvas and it's a, an acrylic painting that is a four hour class and we're going to learn some landscape techniques. We will start with our nice bright blue sky and we'll be adding clouds. And for the clouds, I use a scumbler brush which is a bristle brush. It's a domed bristle brush. And we use, I'm gonna start with some white paint and I'll show you just briefly the technique we're gonna be using. Here's, so we start with our sky. It gradates down from darker down to lighter at the bottom. And then we just start placing in some clouds using this scumbler brush and we're using a circular motion. And we just keep working along our canvas. So you can see, I'm starting to get some cloud shapes going here. Just one like this. Okay. And so we just work on these, cross the entire canvas, place the clouds where you want them. Get some, it's good to have photo references of real clouds from outside. So I have a lot of photos that I take of just cloud formations. And that helps you when you're starting to paint your own clouds, how they look in real life. And then you just go back and load your brush again. And then you can start making them more opaque. Okay, so there's a quick demo on how we get the clouds. And the foliage, all the foliage, um, from the shrubs to the grass to the trees, I am just using a bristle flat or a bristle angular brush. Either one works fine, just different sizes depending on the size of the foliage you're looking to paint. So here is, so basically I use a lot of fine art brushes. So here is a bristle flat brush, so you can just see. It's got the white bristle brushes, and here is what a bristle angle. Sometimes they're called the foliage brush. You can see it's a little angle. Either one works. You just take your, so you take your bristle flat or your bristle angle brush, take it in your dark paint, and you start tapping on the shape of the tree, however you want it to look. And there's, you'll see on this painting, we have a nice big tree on this side, whoops, over here, and then a smaller one over here. So you can use a different size brush for each one if you need to as well. So then you got your basic tree tapped on. Again, you're just tapping it on using the chisel edge of a brush. I'm taking my dirty brush. I'm going to load it into some lighter green. And I'll just start highlighting the side of the tree. Now in the class, you take the class, we'll be spending more time learning this technique in detail. Here is just a little quick demo on how we get there. And I use the same brush to paint on the grass and the shrubs that are down below. There's a shrub here, right there, and there's a couple in front of the church there. So like I said, it's a nice acrylic landscape technique. You learn lots of different techniques for different types of foliage and for the clouds. Um, it's a four hour class and I hope to see you there. If you have any questions, you can go on my website at RebeccaTrimble.com or you can always email me at Rebecca at RebeccaTrimble.com. I hope to see you there. Thanks for joining me. Bye.